good day to you. I am Jan Porter, author and workshop facilitator. The following is an excerpt from the Inspired Life Workshop, Having Fun Manifesting Your Dreams and Soul Aspirations While Playing in the Power of the Divine Flow with Your Guides and Angels. This audio includes an introduction, prayer invocation, and guided meditation journey to assist you in your own soul fulfillment of your life's purpose, wholeness, prosperity, and spiritual growth. Please note that this workshop audio, as presented for accessing and communing in the divine flow with the guides and angels, has little to do with any religious beliefs and everything to do with your own unique soul path. It is your birthright. We have all heard the New Age or quantum physics adage that thoughts are empowered by emotion or passionate intentions. The power that makes wanted or unwanted things happen in life much like tuning into a radio station, you want to aim for the highest good for you at this time. We do this by tuning into the divine flow, which is the space where our guides and angels dwell, on standby waiting for your asking of their assistance. Divine flow is actually a tangible living, breathing energy that acts as a bridge between your soul, the divine, and the angels. In actuality, there is no separation, so it's a reconnect. Know that this is your natural state of being, so allow the assistance to flow, bringing love, joy, laughter, good health, fulfillment, harmony, grace, and prosperity. This divine flow operates in harmony with the natural and spiritual laws of the universe. It is basic quantum physics in a natural upward spiral of spiritual evolution, affecting all of life in a good way. In fact, divine flow is primarily the law of love in combination and cooperation with the law of attraction. The law of love, or divine flow, is the concept that the operations of the cosmos and the root of all happiness functions in unconditional love. In cooperation with the law of attraction, as well as many other laws, but primarily law of attraction, as being made of, we are made of, electricity, and water. We are naturally magnetic conducers. Therefore, what vibration or frequency we emit is what we attract. That is the basic fundamental principle. So, sincere attitudes and moments of happiness, of gratitude, those times where you felt content, and prosperous, these are all your sacred space, your birthright, and natural state of being. When you are in these good moods and positive experiences, you are naturally magnetically attracting more of those good feeling, go with the flow joys. It takes practice striving for and aiming for these good feeling spaces and staying in balance. This uh, striving for mood lifting upward frequency or vibration at a comfortable pace is your natural spiritual alignment with your soul path, which enhances your soul connection to all that is divine. This is the most important relationship you will ever have, which again naturally brings more and more joyful, intimate moments while building confidence, 
and stability where you realize your highest potential and fulfillment for this lifetime. You know that you are in the divine flow and attracting all good things in life and a sense following your own authentic soul path when you feel sincerely happy, confident, and inspired. No matter what chaos or how things seem, what strife appears to be going on around you, we are always thinking, feeling, creating, and manifesting in every moment, every choice, and each reaction. An attitude of, I know how things look and seem right now, but I choose to be happy anyway, will soothe your thoughts and feelings and concerns and doubts into a natural shifting of positive circumstances. When you aim for the highest possible outcome and allow it to comfortably flow through your mind, body, and soul, you are opening the power within your soul that naturally dissipates unhealthy thoughts, limiting thoughts, feelings, and beliefs that feels like an inner light power. Your soul path is your intimate connection, a conscious connection in communion with God, Goddess, Creator, Infinite Source, Infinite Intelligence, Creator, Ancestors, Masters, or Allah. However you perceive that higher state of being, it is also within you, your own powerful inner compass. It is intuition, and wisdom, and again, the most important relationship you will ever have. When we are born, we forget who we are as spirit beings. So our journey back into this knowing of this spirit-angel-divine connection feels like a glorious homecoming. It feels wonderfully familiar, comforting, safe, calm, strong, loving, and of glorious light. Playing in the divine flow feels similar to tuning your mind like tuning into a radio station. Like radios and radio waves, everything in the universe has a vibration or a frequency, including all living and inanimate objects. All living things, including people, animals, and plants, contain a unique life force, an animated life force that is as unique as a fingerprint. And there are many, many levels of vibrations that are far out of human eyes' ability to perceive that also emits distinct sound frequencies and octaves beyond our human hearing range. It is here in raising our spirits or vibration that we come to experience, explore, and commune more fully with our guardian angels and guides. Today, I forego specifically identifying angels and guides um, to any category or description or name as known in various religious or spiritual traditions in order that you experience your own unique soul journey and in your own way. The divine flow is easily within reach and available to anyone for the asking, no matter culture or belief system. All that we need to do is ask from our hearts and souls for help our thoughts aim higher, enabling them to respond with intervention for information and guidance, or simply to bask and commune with. At times in a pinch when you're feeling lonely and afraid, a simple request of angel love, for example, is enough to shift a profoundly challenging situation. 
This manner of asking takes us out of our limited day-to-day -day thoughts and preoccupations and taps into that higher state, a sacred state of being. There is always more going on in the cosmos than what our human senses can perceive, what our human eyes can see, what our hearing ears, what we can actually take in on a daily basis. So as we grow spiritually more aware and confident in our angel and God connection, we come to know that the more time we spend relaxing, loving, laughing, creating, engrossed in those activities that truly make us happy and fulfilled, the more our thoughts naturally turn to how good life is and to doing good for others. Here we naturally slide into and begin to operate in a higher and more sacred state of being. Life challenges and difficulties still arise, yet we lose interest in engaging our attention and time and energy into the things that we have no control over. Harsh judgment of ourselves and of others also dissipates. There is far less turmoil within us and a more go-with-the-flow attitude, gratitude and contentment. Our capacity for compassion increases as well as our capacity to love. In a sense, if an option feels bad, some aspect of what you are thinking or sensing is off track, off the mark. If the option feels good and inspiring, you are more than likely on track and on your soul path. When we are doing activities that we love to do, helping others without expectation of direct return, we are well on our way to knowing and living life fully. We feel more love for ourselves just as we are. There is an ever increase of meaningful intimacy with others. Grace in challenging situations, hope, sincerity, gentleness, and consideration of opposing opinions and lifestyles. There will always be challenges and cyclical patterns in life that arise as opportunities so that we can gain a sense of mastery and confidence. We come to understand how there are natural rhythms and timing ebbs and flows, and perceive a grand design to our lives. We feel a connection to all of life and an appreciation of nature. We also begin to understand the adage that we are responsible for our own lives and that what we do to others, whether it is in thought, an intention, and in action affects not only the target but ourselves. That has a profound ripple effect out into all of life and beyond into the cosmos. Responsibility is the ability to respond to situations without totally losing ourselves to someone else's expectations problems, shame, guilt, and fears when it's not appropriate to do so. Well, not in any case. It is the responsibility of following your own inner compass and soul path, your discernment, what is right for you at this time. We grow out of falling in the trap of thinking and feeling that we are anything less than a gift of God, just as we are. This is not egotistical. This is sincere, 
unconditionally loving of ourselves and acceptance of who we are. We strive to fulfill our highest potential using our own unique skills and abilities, which does contribute to making the world a better place. We are manifesting heaven on earth. As is above, so is below. As we comfortably grow and mature, we naturally slide into a sense of spiritual mastery. We begin to experience a more profound connection and appreciation with the world. We begin to sense, play, and explore with the concept of oneness, how everything is of God and in divine flow, all of life is sacred, and every situation is an opportunity to learn and grow. Incidentally, this is where we master our innate gifts and abilities, such as intuition and healing wholeness. It is here that we know and honor our own value. There is much to do in today's culture regarding the law of attraction and personal responsibility where we make or break our own happiness. All of this can seem daunting and feel like a mountainous load upon already stressed, weary shoulders. However, for our ancestors and those masters before us for thousands and thousands of years throughout history, they knew of the spirit world and the angel realm, divine flow and God, and they incorporated natural and spiritual laws on a day-to-day basis in alignment with the spirit and angelic realm, life divinely flowed. Once we ask to know the divine flow, our guides and angels more intimately, an alignment with higher divine forces grows within our souls that in turn powers wholeness, passions, interests, inspirations, Where miracles are the norm, in quantum physics there are no miracles. It happens. It's phenomena that has scientific fact at its core. This is natural and spiritual law. It's quantum physics. So the space where miracles are the norm, they are a thousand times more powerful than our initial prayers what our limited day-to-day human mind can possibly comprehend. It is also our soul path journey to wholeness, fulfillment, oneness, the grand homecoming. Throughout time we see many cultures, religions, spiritual traditions accessing the angels by using powerful rituals, invocations, prayers, music, dance, meditations, mantras, spiritual exercises, creativity, and or deep healing techniques to essentially raise one's vibration to higher levels. In essence, they are growing into and developing an increasing capacity to operate within and maintain an actual light body, which in turn activates a higher spiritual anatomy. Here, a stronger and more intimate connection to oneness, God, the angels, archangels, and masters naturally aligns to further unfold unique gifts and abilities that ripples outward benefiting loved ones, community, country, the world, and beyond into the cosmos. We are not alone, and we do not have to go it alone. 
Each of us came into this physical body with a number of guides and angels that are on hand for different challenges, missions, assistance, and growth throughout our lifetime. They can step forward for one life-defining situation or walk with us throughout our entire lifetime. Some step forward for a particular life situation, lesson, project, or skill development. Popular signs that your guides and angels are making their presence known to you and offering comfort or affirming that you are on the right track often comes through the words and actions of others, whether it's a quote, words from a song, book, or movie, an inspiring thought, a surprise opportunity, or as simple as a special smell, grandfather's pipe tobacco, grandmother's home baking perfume, it could be flowers or a rainbow, a white feather. Others may notice specific reoccurring numbers that attract attention, such as house numbers, codes, or a digital clock bleating 1111 or 444 or 251. These calling cards consistently show up in the strangest of seemingly unrelated places. Themes reappear and attract attention. Those that we feel affinity and kindred connection. Maybe it's all things indigenous, native, Celtic lore, gypsy, Roman architecture, Gregorian chants, Egyptian glyphs and symbols, or dragonflies, dolphins, wolves, beaches, stars, sunsets, or quotes, or perhaps a special affinity with a hero, a saint, or a master. In short, the fundamentals to making life abundant and happier really begins with an inspired attitude or intention to Focus on and make a commitment to your own journey, doing what you love to do. So ask from your heart and soul, aiming for the highest possible assistance and outcome. It is a flash or a blink of an eye where miracles do happen. It only takes a tiny seed of faith and hope for a transformation of any situation. Take time to sigh, breathe often. That's that deep breathing and allowing letting go sensation. This helps to dissipate resistance and allows the angels and guides to do their work. Allow images, whispers, symbols, and your own compass and intuition to follow. The guidance may not always seem practical or next logical step. Always follow the path or option of most love and light. When in doubt, ask for clarity and affirmation. A simple and sincere thank you for all the good that it comes and goes and flows within your life and an asking prayer and invocation completes a request and gives continuity to the divine flow. If it feels good, follow that. If it does not, ask for clarity, more direction, assistance, and validation. Sit back or lie down comfortably and we'll start with a prayer invocation to the angels, guides, and archangels and flow right into a meditation journey. Om Mother Father God, 
God as guides, angels, masters, and archangels. We ask for your divine presence to be with us today and to live our lives in the divine flow. We thank you for being with us and ask for your assistance in opening tangible communication. Please make your existence consciously and tangibly known to us so that we may grow and live our lives happier, prosperous, and more fulfilled, thus making the world a better place for all. We ask that our communication and communion enhance our lives, work, and activities in alignment with our highest potential and good for this lifetime. Please assist us in allowing the divine flow to comfortably and naturally raise our spirits to bring insights, comfort, information, good health, well-being, abundance and prosperity, laughter, good friendships, inner peace, and spiritual growth. Watch over us. Walk with us, inspire us, and nurture us. May your spirit of peace, love, and miracles always be consciously known to us, today and always, and in all ways. For this and all that you give, we thank you. As is above, so is below. And so it is. Sitting or lying down as comfortable as I can, I allow my feelings, mind, and body to relax. I notice that day to day concerns now gently dissipate and fade away. Day thoughts are gently set aside for now and I am feeling peaceful and content. I take a deep belly breath in and slowly exhale. Another deep calming breath in, a smile out breath, allowing myself to relax even more, knowing that I am safe, cozy, and comfortable while remaining fully aware. I focus on slightly stretching and flexing my toes, feet, ankles, shins, knees, thighs, buttocks and hips, spine, shoulders, forearms, elbows, wrists, and fingers, neck, facial muscles, jaw, and forehead. Now allow them to become so comfortably relaxed that they feel almost numb and a part of the floor or chair that safely supports me. I take a deep belly breath in and slowly exhale. Another deep calming breath in. Then a smile out breath. Allowing myself to relax even more. I turn my attention to my tongue and gently place the tip at the gum line as it meets my top front teeth. Now through my nose, I take another deep breath in. And as I exhale out my mouth, I allow a calming wave of cozy, comfortable relaxation to flow through my body, heart, and mind. As I do so, I focus my attention, draws my awareness to a light inside of my head above my eyebrows, bringing another wave of 
calm relaxation. This is an OM button, an access to my own higher soul and higher mind. I now notice that at the top of my head, my crown, a beautiful divine white light naturally flows down through my body, heart, spine, muscles, tissue, organs, and to the cells, atoms, and DNA that naturally dissipates any residue of stress or discomfort. I also notice that breathing in this light and allowing it to wash through me brings a new sense of calm, wholeness, and sense of well-being. I take in another deep breath, allowing the white light to radiate and expand down to my heart, body, mind, and soul. I smile and play and expand this white light outward, beyond my body, surrounding me in a protecting, loving bubble of light. I am bathed in light from within and without. I radiate light and I am even more beautiful. I know that this is my natural state of being and that this sacred space is at home in my soul, my own higher and sacred state of happiness, fulfillment, prosperity, and joy. This is who I naturally am, this wonderful, warm, light-filled feeling is normal. My physical body is 100% comfortable. My emotions are calm and peaceful and my mind is clear and aware. This wonderful white light naturally flows smoothly throughout my body, emotions and mind into my surroundings making all of my day-to-day -day life comfortable, calm, peaceful, clear, and aware. I now know that I am love. I am loved and at peace with who I am, just as I am. I anchor this feeling from this moment right now, forward throughout all of my past, now, and through the rest of my life and beyond. I now notice that within my own heart, an alignment is taking place with my conscious mind that instinctively knows when something is right for me at this time and when and what it is not. With this knowing, I now allow full connection, allowing insights, information, and full communion with the divine flow of abundance, optimum health, loving, supportive relationships, and connection with my guardian angels, guides to naturally flow. I am now fully open to my own soul's higher awareness to give and receive information, insights, wholeness, and conscious awareness of my guides and angels. As I allow this divine flow to continue to wash through me with each gentle breath in and out, I draw in and absorb its energy, grace, harmony, and love. I notice the magical sparkling rainbow mist that surrounds me now, and I hear beautiful, soft, soul-moving music. 
the magical mist is slowly dissipating and I see that I am standing in a beautiful lush garden. It is a glorious sun shining warm summer day. Gentle breezes caress my skin and hair. Sunshine streams through a nearby tree. Fragrance of blossoms and flowers carry in the breeze and I take in a deep sighing breath and smile. Luminescent dragonflies dance, flitter and sun rays all around me. A deer gently ambles out and around a huge oak tree calmly approaches Almond dark eyes blink, beaming loving kindred grace. A grouse bird pecks at grass seeds, then puff chest heart beat drumming coos, spiral dancing in ascension and joy. This garden is warm, loving, familiar. I see mementos and symbols of my ancestors, the ancients, my people. It is all of the good of the past. It is my spirit world home. Throughout time, I have come here to this sacred space. I remember now a temple of natural knowledge, of magic a homecoming, a trickling brook, water dancing over rocks, light sparkles upon water's surface, birds happily chirp and wings flutter, a little white butterfly dances past, turning my attention to a park bench. An outline of a person casually sitting upon the bench takes form. This is my spirit world friend who has come to happiness guide, show me my current soul path and assist me in manifesting good positive changes, miracle changes on the right path. This person instantly feels familiar, warm, safe, and inspiring. I know instinctively who this is, as long time close as a friend, confidant. This most wonderful, magical, loving person warmly smiles at me as they invite me to come and sit beside them. I, of course, join them allowing a wonderful, loving familiarity between the two of us to expand in to remembering who they are. A mutual smile, an embrace, the oldest and best of friends, kindred spirits, loving, all-knowing and wise. This old friend points to my footprints, and as I focus on them, barefoot, sand warm upon skin, grass cool, I now see a lighter set of footprints beside my own, and I know that they are those of this old friend, always with me. Any of those most challenging, life-defining moments where I think I have step fumbled off of my soul path, I clearly see that this angel guide friend carried me. Those times when I felt as though I made bad choices and mistakes lovingly fade away as the images now reveal higher truths. Those old regrets are a waste of precious energy. Those challenging times actually contain insights and wisdoms, opportunities to confirm and grow in loving myself. 
all is good now, as it should be, and I allow the effects of the past to gently fade away, making way for good to flow smoothly into all aspects of my life. The images that hold throughout time are those of joy, good love, and laughter. An interesting thought and comfortable feel, familiar feeling occurs to me of equality. In spirit form, we are equal friends and companions. An inseparable love bond flows between us, always walking side by side. There is not one instant where the two of us have been separated. There has never been a time when I have been unworthy or anything less than equal. In fact, I now know that I have always been worthy and that this friendship has always been and will always be there with me. This old friend opens their cupped hands to reveal a hovering, flickering light ball, a most beautiful luminescent ball of light that sparkles and slightly dances in the sunlight. Old friend winks, grins, then points to my own hands, to my own flickering light ball. Similar beautiful luminescent ball of light sparkling and slightly dancing in the sunlight. This is the spark of divine inspiration, my own powerful spark of life in giving, gratitude, creativity, and doing those things that I love to do. I am the master artist of my life. I feel this ball of light as a natural part of me within my own heart, mind, and soul. The ball slightly shimmers alive as I breathe and it gently heartbeat, pulsate, responds in motion, ripple waves within and throughout my body, mind, and feelings, then outward into the world and cosmos. I understand that when I am feeling bad and uncomfortable, it pulsates physical discomfort sensations as merely an indicator that there are higher perspectives, higher truths, a higher agenda, other options, and that I simply need to tune back into good feeling thoughts of who I am, what I really want, and what is possible. This ball of light affirms when I am on track with my soul wishes by pulsating and jingling happy, inspired excitement within my own heart, body, and mind. It feels good, calm, and alive. I turn my attention to a movie screen hovering in front of me. Scenes from a movie begin to play out. These are movie clips from my life. Times of regret, sorrow, fear, laughter and love come and go. I focus stronger now on the images shown and in the background Shadows are clearly showing the best of my ancestors, my guides and angels beside me since before I was born. At times they are busy working all around me, coach whispering in my ear 
or holding me safe in loving embrace, and at other times, simply sharing a fun or joyful moment. This old friend and the group of friends standing behind me are all glowing with divine white light. They are wise. Their wisdom and abilities are angelic. I thank them for showing themselves to me, for being with me. I allow their love and wisdom to naturally flow through me and into all aspects of my life. I ask for more clarity and tangible insights for my challenges and my aspirations, knowing that as I ask, the answers will be given at the right time. Options will be shown and as I always have the free will to choose for myself, I naturally choose each option that my light spark ball of light pulsates in response to the thought, option, and feeling of most light and inspiration, even though at times it may not make the most practical sense. The choices of light and jazz is my heart are the choices that align with my own unique soul path. I ask for tangible validation to be shown for each choice that affirms that I am following the best possible path for the highest good. I make a unique contribution to the world without competition. In the days to come, I now know that these old friends will continue to download skills, characteristics, abilities, information, guidance, dreams, and insights needed for my next step. Direction of what attitudes, perspectives, and actions ought to be considered to address my needs assist my work, projects, activities, goals, and soul aspirations to come forth and grow more in allowing and confident for the days, months, and years to come. I take moments to bask in this beautiful garden, often sitting aside my old friend with a large group of old friends standing behind me, all divine flow connected and interconnected, harmonizing within me my work, relationships, activities, goals, dreams, and aspirations. I know that this good feeling, divine flow within me, is who I naturally am and that I can consciously access all of my angel friends and guides or simply come here to bask in this sacred space at any time in the flash of an asking thought and feeling. I know also that the more I ask, commune and work with my angel friends and guides in this divine flow, the more inspired, wiser, calmer, happier, fulfilled, and prosperous I grow. I notice in front of me that a beautiful beach shoreline is taking shape. As I focus in, I understand that this is a wise loving divine flow of energy that naturally flows from within and around me. All of the good that I have ever given away naturally flows back to me tenfold in circular waves. My old friends gently breathe with me, breathing in 
and out waves of wise loving light and I feel more full, complete, fulfilled and prosperous. I also now know that communing is much like tuning into an angel radio station. I can tune into this divine sacred space of love, wholeness, inspiration, prosperity, manifesting all good things and wisdom any time I set my radio dial for this space. I confidently honor this sacred space within me, knowing that my ability of magical manifesting, of feeling and acting in gratitude and reverence for life and manifesting is my birthright. I feel its power and amplify the divine flow energy vibration to broadcast wholeness, love, fulfillment, and wisdom throughout my life, creating waves of tangible angelic assistance through my intentions, thoughts, choices and activities out into the world. I anchor and honor this kindred friendship in the divine flow of all that is, the pulsing ball of inspiration, light of life. I allow all of the love, nurturing, fulfillment and guidance to flow within and around me. I now know that this introduction can never be forgotten or lost. It is always within me and available for my tuning in and asking. My life flows in magical, mysterious, miraculous ways in all ways. I take time to bask with my angels in divine flow, in inspired space, daily. Now as you gently and fully come back to your room, know that the divine flow and communing with your angels, guides, and soul inspiration, life spark ball, easily and comfortably continues. Come back fully now. Stretch. Open your eyes. Yawn and sigh. Feel free to take a notepad and begin to describe your journey, your guide or angel, what inspirational gifts you are given. You may want to take time to write out or sketch, draw, what your ideal home and surrounding environment looks like, what activities you most love to do, what attributes does your soulmate have, what does financial freedom feel like, what does optimum good health feel like, or your ideal transportation. And I wish you all good blessings on your journey. Thank you.